There's good stuff about solving puzzles without marking candidates at sudokuprimer.com. Go out there for that and lots of other Sudoku information. Uh, there's Sudoku myths out there, there's Sudoku history, and you can even create your own Wordoku puzzles there. So go check it out. This is puzzle number 92 from Sudoku to Go, volume 117. My voice might be a little off today. I've had a, a cold for the last few days, and I'm, I am getting over it. Now, don't worry. I had a COVID test, and it was negative, so you won't get COVID watching this lesson. So you can continue watching. Today, we look real closely at URs, unique rectangles, and find more ways they can help us find numbers. Let's fill in some, some easy numbers here. There's a 5 right there. All right, 5 there. And 5 there. All right, now notice we have um, a a 1 here. With that 1, we have 1, 3 here and 1, 3 here. So we have 1, 3 twins right there. They're going to help us in a minute. A 9 there, 9 there, so that's a 9. Okay. We have 1, 3 twins right here. Okay, let's look at box one here. We have one three twins here, so that ha cannot be a one or a three. And what are we missing in box one? We're missing one, three, eight, and nine. This has to be an eight or a nine. Okay. And remember, these are one three twins here, so we cannot have a one and a three right here. Um, the 1 and 3 can't go there, so one of these has to be a 1 or a 3, but it can't be a 1 and a 3, or else we'd have the, um, the invalid UR combination there. So the only other place that you can have a 1 or a 3 is right here. Right? So that has to be a 1 or a 3, and we know that has to be an 8 or a 9. Now, this can't be a 1 or a 3 right here, or else we'd have 1, 3 twins here, and that can't be a that couldn't be a 1 or a 3. So we know that the 1, 3 twins are this way because of unique rectangles. We had 1, 3 twins here. We knew these, this couldn't be 1, 1, 3 twins right here. That can't be a 1 or a 3. So we know the 1, 3 twins have to be this way. We also, um, got a one right here. We have one, three twins there, so we know that's a one right there. And so that can't be a one, and that can't be a one. So the one has to be right there, and that's a three. That's a very different way of looking at unique rectangles. So we we used unique rectangles there to find these one threes, one and th three right here, these one three twins. And now we know this is an eight, eight and a nine, eight, nine twins. And these are three, seven twins. We can't solve any of those right now. But uh, a very unique way of finding these four numbers right there. All right, now let's look at um, uh, box four right here. We know that's a three or a seven. We've got a five, eight, and a nine here. So these are five, eight, nine triplets. 
We can't solve any of them right now. We know there that's got to be a five or a nine. That's got to be a five, eight, or nine, and that's an um, eight or a nine, but we can't solve them. But let's look at that a little bit closer. What are we missing? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing one, three, and seven. So we got three and seven there that we knew about. Oh, there's a three and a seven there, so we know that's a one. All right, with that one, we've got a one here and one here, so we know that's a one. And now we know these are three, seven twins. So another, another tricky way of finding a number right there. All right, now let's look at uh, let's look at column four and let's see what we're missing here. Two, three, seven, nine. There's a two and a three, so that's a seven or a nine. Two, three, seven or nine. There's a two, three, nine, so that's a seven. So that's got to be a nine because there's a two and a three there. Okay. So we get those put in. And now remember the, the 5, 8, 9 triplets we have here. Now we've got an 8 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 5 right there. All right, now let's look at box 7. Now we know we've got 8, 9 twins right here and 3, 7 twins right here. And look at box 7. We've got an 8 here. So one of these is an 8. And there's a nine here, nine here. One of these is a nine. So we got a, a UR situation here again. Eight, nine twins there. One of these has to be a nine. So neither of these can be an eight. And the eight can only be here, here, or here. So that is an eight. Again, we, we used some information that we had about the URs here in order to find that eight. And now we know that's a nine and that's an eight. 8, and we can put a 9 there because we knew the 9 had to go here or here. Okay, now we've got 4, 6 twins there, 3, 7 twins there. All right, and we've got an 8, 8, so there's an 8 right there. Okay, so... We can't do anything with these three seven twins or these four six twins right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some more interesting stuff here. Let's see what we're missing here. Two, four, seven. Yeah. Can't really see anything there. All right. Okay, now here's another interesting thing. We've got an eight, eight, nine twins there. We've got an eight here, and an eight here, and an eight here. So we know the eight in box three has to go in one of these two cells right here. With these eight, nine twins, we know neither of these can be a nine. We've got a nine here and a nine here, so these can't be nine. So we know that has to be a nine. And that is a two because that completes row three there. So we didn't know where these two, the two and the nine went, but with the, with this clue we had with the eight, nine twins there and URs right here, we knew that had to be a nine. All right, now what are we missing here? Six, seven, nine. There's a nine there, so we know that's a nine, and that's a seven, that's a six. All right. Um, <clears throat> now let's look at box three here. Um, let's see what we're missing. We're missing two, four, seven, and eight. Okay, that's got to be a seven right there. All right, now we're only missing two, four, eight, and nine in this row, and two, four, and eight here. 
We've got an eight and a nine there, eight and nine there. So these are two four twins and these are eight nine twins. And we can solve them because of that nine there. Eight, nine, and put in that eight right there. And all we have left is these two four twins right there. All right, let's look at this column right here. Let's see what we're missing here. Two, four, five, six. Here's a two, five, and six, so that's a four. Let's see, now we're missing two, five, and six. Two, six. There's a five, six, so that's a two. There's a five there, so that's a six, and that's a five. All right. Now we're only missing six and seven there, which we can solve easily. All right, now let's see, we've got, we're missing three, seven here. Three, yeah, three and seven, three, seven there, three, seven there. There's a seven, so we can put those in. And also, these are three seven twins down here, so we can fill those in. We found those earlier. Now we've got four six here and four six here. Don't think we can solve those yet. All right, let's look at column five here. Four, six, seven. We're missing four, six, and seven. Six there. There's a seven, so neither of these can be a seven. So that's a seven there. And these are four and six. With that six, we can finish those and finish those. All right, now we've got a, a two, three missing here. We can solve those. And uh, we've got the two fours there. Let's see, missing a four there. So these are two and seven, got a seven there. So two, seven, four, two there. And we've only got uh, two, two and four there. We can finish those and we've got it. Well, so there's some pretty um, different ways of looking at unique rectangles. When you see unique rectangles or possibilities of them, look at them really closely because they can give you some pretty good information. Well, I hope this lesson has helped you, and I thank you for tuning in.